Hello everybody, Shift here again with another Spirit Hunters run. And uh, yeah, let's get to it right away. I do have a bit of meta progression, but honestly what I want to do is uh, get this arrow. So we're going to play the third stage to try to find Spectres if we were lucky. And then after that, we're going to maybe unlock this and uh, also maybe get the arrow run going, right? So we're going to go with Conrad again because right now I'm best character in the game. And the build today, I guess we're going to go with the Grand Hex. Although I don't believe in this as a good ability, but heal to one cast. If I reduce that to like a two second cooldown or something, then we will be healing a lot. But just using that, you know, every two seconds healing two is really a lot. And it already starts popping in random spots that don't do anything. <laughs> now, obviously, this needs to become a bone build or something else other than whatever this is. <laughs> so uh, let's just hope that we're going to get some kind of good weapon right now early. Okay, we found the bone right away. I'm going to just pick up the bone. I hope I can be even more lucky and get like three or four upgrades to bone cooldown right this moment. Damage. Yes. Nice. As long as I don't gain anything that is completely useless, I am okay with every, anything. And you know what? Let's go range on the bones. Now, as I said, it's going to be a bone run. Why did I start with a hex? I guess for the healing. I guess for the healing. And also because I didn't really play hex. And also because there is a chance I'm going to play a hex build at some point. So let's have some kind of comparison. Even more bone damage. Yep. Very nice. Now, the reason I didn't start with bones, though, that's maybe a more, you know, relevant question. That's because it doesn't really gain anything from starting with it. Like, you don't actually gain something from starting with bones. It doesn't provide you with anything. It is supposedly, it says you gain one more bone, but I don't know what that means. And it doesn't even, like, it doesn't do any difference reality-wise. By the way, I need attack speed. I don't need cooldown. I'm, I'm still... Sp and I, yeah, I need cooldown. Not to whether I'm gaining more coins. This? This is bugged. This is 50% on the unlock screen on the poor skill tree. This is 50%, but here it's 40. Okay. Obviously, we go with pulls enemies afar because that is the most busted pet. Uh, we got the whip, which is always a good choice. Orbital Flame is also good, but I would say let's go with the cleaver. I would say let's go with the cleaver. Let's have the, the slice, which always is a good choice, especially if we go for the other thing. Critical hits. Yeah, let's go with this. Ooh, pushing up ones back. Let's go. Here is the taunt. Here we got a bunch of Reapers. Boom, the explosion there. Let's go three more with the explosion. If I can, I would like to have an only two weapons build, right? If I can, I would like to make my uh, bones and my whatever this is called, the hex. And the only two things I have. And um, if I'm lucky enough, you know, we can make them crazy attacks. Let's go. One second. Nice. I really am excited about to showcase the bone build. The bone build is something that I really liked. I, I succeeded in building one twice. But both of them are off screen because, you know, I was chilling with friends, just playing the game. I mean, I do like this game, so I do have to play it on my own once in a while. I mean, I do have to. What am I even talking about? I am already playing it once in a while on my own free time. Cooldown on the whip is pretty decent. At this point, I just realized that we have three weapons. So if I, if, if, if I could avoid getting another weapon for the rest of this run, it would be nice. 16 range on this, making the bones actually useful because in the beginning they're obviously not. Explosion. And here we got the first pickup. Uh, I would say let's go Magic Mine. The last time it went well. Magic Mine is good even at level 1, I think. While the Spears, eh, eh. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. Tangle Mine is also decent sometimes. Let's go with the Wines. I think the Bombs are the safest option here. They also have one of the better upgrades in general. A cooldown on the Bones, no questions asked. I just need cooldown on the Bones seven more times. Okay, cooldown on this thing against range on the bones. Now let's go cool down on this thing. That is our healing. That is our free healing that we will have for the rest of this game. So the, the, the shorter the cooldown on that, the faster we heal. But yeah, you obviously go with a 0 0.8 on the bones and this seems to be the bone run. We are very close to actually succeeding and getting it. 0 0.7, let's go. Six more to go, six more to go. Now those six do not need to pop exactly this second, but it would be nice if they did. Man, my luck strikes again. My luck strikes again. This is maybe a god run if you're a bit more lucky and continue with this. Uh, because, yeah, right now we are lucky and all. Let's go with range. Right now we are lucky and all, but let's be serious. The game just needs to make sure that for the next 20 levels I don't get a single upgrade again. And that's that. <laughs> like, it isn't really that hard to do. Like, only give me mine upgrades. You know what? Now that I think about it, I need to run around. Now that there aren't that many opponents. Now, now that the, <clears throat> the opponent ratio, spawn ratio has dropped to the bin. Now it's a good chance to go for chests, for pets, you know, for all that jazz, for money, which is important in this game and also in real life. I mean, yeah, okay, it's not all. Sometimes you also need to have good RNG. I mean, this is very uh, close to real life. 
you need money to be able to change your outcome of what would have happened without money but if you don't have money then you just hope and dream that everything is gonna go well and rng is gonna carry you let's go with the web damage once again uh, although the whip not really crazy weapon uh, a couple of upgrades here or there are gonna help out i mean the whip is a good weapon when i say the whip i mean the cleaver but it's not the cleaver main i mean cleavers do not I don't know. The cleavers are not used in big AoEs. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's one for survivors talk, guys. It's one for survivors talk. Over here is where the opponents are amassed. I hate it when I'm close to, like, areas like this. Look what happens. Now I have XP on the other side of that stupid wall. Uh, I would say cooldown, but there is no cooldown choice. Uh, I guess size with explosions. I mean, there was a cooldown choice, but for the weapon that I don't care about cooldown. So that's what I meant. <laughs> what is this mechanical thing doing? What are you doing? What are you, actually? Who are you? That's a meme that my friends say, by the way, this who are you, which I, I never, I, I don't even know from where that is. I know, I know I'm missing a bunch of XP over there. Trying to defeat the elite first. Then we're gonna go away from this area. Gonna go away from this area. We have our bombs pushing the opponents. Let's continue picking up XP. Yes, 0.5. Let's go. Let's go. You know what? Let's start attacking them with the bones instead of the whip. Because the bones obviously do 7 damage and attack a bit faster than the whip. Just saying. I'm missing my hits. This guy is one of those opponents that just move to the left all the time. One of those stupid mini bosses. And the kill. Got him. Okay, we got a couple of things. Okay, now I have to go inside there. Ah, oh, what a bad area. What a bad area to be in. And now the magnet, I don't even know where the magnet is happening. Okay, I want to go in there. I really hope that this run is not going to be a death. Because, you know, I am losing a bit of life. But for me to heal, I just need a couple of levels on the cooldown of the other thing 0 0.4 let's go and now you actually see that they are actually flying off fast okay like 0 0.3 is gonna do a huge difference like if, if 0 0.4 did a big difference 0 0.3 is gonna be insane and then 0 0.2 obviously is madness at that point okay let's just go downwards so that i have some kind of area that i can pick up my xp in and in general attack i don't want to be boxed in with damage for these obviously Let's not forget that I'm healing by two every time one of those rings pop, which is obviously extremely helpful. Gaining free healing is helpful. Unbelievable. So you heard it here first, okay? In case you didn't know, healing is useful in games that you are losing life. Unbelievable, right? Unbelievable. Let's go onwards <laughs> with the jokes and the memes. Uh, let's go with the hex, those damage. I mean, I am a hex build too. It's not only that I am. And we're really boxed in here. It's a really bad area to be in. Uh, he says that and doesn't go away. Let's go with the whip cooldown, I would say. Oh, this is a good pop. Boom, here we go. Let's go 0 0.3. Here we go, here we go. The build is happening. The build is happening. The build is happening. Are you guys ready? Are you guys excited? Comment down below about it. Yes, if the bone was awesome. I mean, maybe later. Maybe after you see the whole thing. Maybe after, I can guarantee you that's going to be good. Let's go. There is a pet there. That is really lucky as always. And we also go... Ooh, and also meta progression. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. The more meta progression, the better. I just realized I can try to use the, the cleaver to push opponents into the explosion. Let's go away. Okay, that guy's trying to do something fancy. Yeah, he's dead already. And this isn't even our final form. And there are, like, opponents stuck up there. Okay, we got the meta progression, we got the pet. Give me magnetism. Okay, damage mitigation, movement speed, and damage. You know what, let's go with movement speed. Let's go with movement speed. That 10% is actually more than what you think it is. Doesn't it feel like it is more than 10%? I mean, it feels like it. I think the reason is because that 10% might, um, might calculate the 10% from the base speed and not from the, this character's specific speed. Uh, this is a bad roll, for example. We're gonna reroll this. Crits is stupid. Let's go with damage of the hex. Crits in general are not really that bad, but if you just gain 5% crit chance, I mean, I would have preferred to just gain plus 1 damage. You know? Because honestly, I, are crits double damage in this game? If crits are more than double damage, then maybe crit is worth it, okay? I'm, I, I need to make that clear. Like, my opinion is based on the crits do double damage. Because if the crits do double damage, then you increase your damage by whatever the percentage is of the crit, right? In case you don't know that, like, if, if crits are double damage and you increase your crit chance by 5%, you increase your damage by 5%. That is how the math and statistics works out. At least as far as I know, like, if anybody, 
knows that I'm wrong or if anybody knows that I'm right and wants to confirm it, just, just comment about it so that everybody is clear about it. Okay, these are the opponents we want to chase down to get the auto build going. So now we need to definitely try to clear out as many of these as possible. So that means I chase them down actively. Because every time you get a kill in this game, then and another opponent spawns. So we definitely want to do that. Chase these things down. I don't see us killing about 100 plus. 0 0.2, let's go. Look at these bones, look at these bones. Go, 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 go. And we just changed opponents. Just like that. Now we're fighting the pumpkins. Pumpkins all around. Pumpkins all around. I need to find an open area, man. I need to find an open... I found the shop. Wow, it has been a year since the last time I found the shop. That's weird. Yeah, the, the shops are pretty rare-ish. Rare-ish. Let's pick up this money. Let's pick up a bit more money. da 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 Shift, it isn't as crazy as you saw, thought, as I thought it's gonna be based on what you're saying previously. No, that's not that crazy. It's pretty simple. Guys, you just wait for the 0 0.1. Uh, you know what? Because there is a shop here, I'm just gonna go with size on explosions. Okay, that was a good pop. This is a mediocre pop. I want to get to that XP of the that is a good pop area. Okay, 1.3 on the Reaper Scythe. Okay, the Scythe doesn't do that much damage. Right now. Okay, let's get rid of these guys. We're gonna see the boss melt. We still haven't gotten that last upgrade. That that important, very important last upgrade. By the way, these things seem to have more than 8 health because they survive the 8 health attack. Increase the cooldown further. Yes. I could go for the whip thing. Uh, was there a cooldown on the hex? I think there was only range and damage on the hex. I only want cooldown on the hex. Like, hex is... Hex is... The healing. Okay? Hex is for healing. Here we go. Cooldown on the hex. The more cooldown we got on the hex, the faster we're gonna be able to heal. Although, I, I saw that there was bone damage. I did see that. You know what, let's buy with 500 and continue moving away. Uh, cooldown. Yeah, we're gonna go cooldown on the whip. Okay, so first of all, the mitigation pet. If I think that I want to run this run, but I don't care about this run specifically, we're gonna go with uh, this here. Ah, oh, we don't have enough. Then this is the only choice, honestly. Might as well go for one run-related item. Yep, big XP up. I mean, this isn't even that much XP. It's a joke. It's so funny that you buy XP from the shop and it's still not enough to level you up. Unbelievable. Uh, damage of bones, obviously. Nine damage, important. I want range on bones. Range and one more cooldown and then range. If I get one more cooldown and then only range, we're good. And damage, obviously, right? And damage, obviously. The cooldown is the more important part. If I get the cooldown, we're flying. What is this? Trash? Let's go with size on the whip. Mediocre. Like, oh, everything needs cooldown. Every every single thing you have, uh, cooldown is always the best choice. Like, always. But it's not a good choice if you choose it, like, two or three times. Let's go uh, range on the bones. It's A cooldown is good if you choose it ten times. If you choose it three times, eh. Eh, it helps, but eh. The change is small. I don't know, man. The cooldown is as if... Uh, level one, you gain 5% cooldown reduction. Level two, you gain... Uh, 10% cooldown reduction. Level 3, you get 15, 20, 30. And then when you are at 0.2 seconds attack speed, well, the next upgrade of cooldown is going to be pretty much half your cooldown from 0.2 to 0.1. So that's why the more it's more important to get, you know, the later levels of cooldown. Still haven't found the last one. Uh, I would say let's go AoE of the explosions. I would like to see how big they can become. Uh, for example, AoE of these explosions isn't really that crazy. But I'm, I'm just... I just want to see how big they can become. And also, the more AoE this thing has, the more DPS it gets, it gets through the fact that it is actually hitting opponents instead of missing completely. So, AoE is good on that. It's as if range with the bones, right? Like, every bone that does not hit something does zero damage. So, the more range you have, the more damage you do. Obviously, damage is also important. Obviously. <laughs> By definition, damage is important. But uh, range is also important. Here we go. What is even happening? Okay, the magnet activated. Uh, I a cooldown of the hex for sure. I enjoy the free healing I'm gaining every five seconds. Straight up, every five seconds you heal too. Oh, let's avoid. And also, in in combination with the damage mitigation, we take a lot less. Ooh, even more cooldown damage on the bones. No, we're gonna go cooldown. I go cooldown. Hex, hex cooldown is the first priority. Actually, 
It's first priority is bone cooldown, then is hex cooldown, then is bone damage, then is bone range. This is the priority, and then is hex range, and then and then pretty much whatever. I, I mean, I don't need to explain every single item in priority. Uh, here we go, bone damage, very nice. Let's go pick up that XP where this appears. And I want the magnet pet. Okay, what happened? What's happening? We're waiting for an elite to appear. I see. Okay, masses of opponents. Nice. The more masses of opponents we fight, the better. The more, the better. The more, the better. Okay, I see a, I see a chest down there. How much money we got. Okay, now we got enough money to start rolling. Here's the elite. Not sure how strong it is. Well, it goes towards the wrong thing. Well, it's dead. <laughs> That's how strong it is. <laughs> It, it went towards the magnet. By the way, I not the magnet, the the, um, the taunt pet. Man, the, the taunt pet is the best pet by far. Like it just just gives you free time. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Do you see this? I just run through opponents and they just melt. Imagine if this guy had a passive two percent chance to heal whenever you throw a bone out. Like that that would be obviously busted. Two percent. Yeah, yeah, it would be pretty good. I got this. Wherever I walk, everything dies. Damage on the bones, as I said. Damage comes first, range comes second. Uh, <laughs> Death and distraction. I mean, range would be more fun, though. We would be able to see more things. But damage is obviously better. Like a single bone assassinates. <laughs> the faster the bones destroy. By the way, things coming sideways in are destroying us. 10% uh, more XP. So I saw Wonderbots play this, and he has different bones than me. Like, what? I don't know why. For some reason, he has, like, it shoots left, right, bottom, bottom. Like, left, right, bottom, bottom. See, my, and I think we have the same game. Let's go on the cooldown on the heal. The hex is heal. <laughs> it isn't anything else other than heal. <laughs> Let's say the things like they are. Uh, I would say crit chance on the bones, honestly speaking. Like, honestly, honestly. Okay, I'm losing life semi on purpose. Which I should stop doing. Damage on the bones, no questions asked. Look up the elite big melt. Look up the elite melt. Where's the elite? It's gonna melt wherever it is. Try to go into an open space. I want to be able to gather up more XP. Try being the main uh, word here. Ah, there's the elite. Let's run into the corner with XP. Size, obviously. I mean range, whatever. Here it is. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> uh, oh, two elites. We killed both of them somehow. Like, it was one of those elites that spawns another elite inside of it. Damage on the bones. And they both died. Oh man, this is the most busted build by far. Like, just, just go bones build. Why did I play the stage? Oh, because I wanted to get the... Um, I got cooldown on the whip, although I had range on the bone or damage on the bone. I should have gone damage on the bone. Right, whatever. Um, yeah, I wanted to get the the, the the arrow upgrade, so maybe I do an arrow up run second. Yeah, that's why I went on the stage. Uh, continue with this thing cooldown. We make it this also 0 0.5. Oh man, oh man. Oh man, oh man. The machine gun tank. You see, that's the thing. Because I don't... Because I'm not afraid to lose life, I can just run into the madness and pick up the XP. Like, I can just YOLO into here and be like, okay, I pick up XP, I don't care. Cooldown on the heal. Let's continue going. By the way, in case you didn't realize, the heal happens because I, it was my starting weapon. And the starting weapon of this character for the hex specifically... Uh, or not the weapon, the starting passive for the hex on this character. Okay, now I said it completely correctly, is to healing. You can see that at the start of the video if you want to go back. Otherwise, oh, we got the elite. Let's see how fast the boss of the series is going to die. Or slow, depends. I mean, it's 800 life. Come on, where are you? Where are you? Here it is, on the left. That's bad. Because, as I said, he has not lost life. I said that yesterday. These rings go uh, come closer and closer, not based on how much life he has, based on time. So the game forces you to kill the boss as fast as possible. I want the boss to come in here, join us. Come in here, and now I just want to go around. The spikes are going to most likely kill us, but I got this. Go. Go, 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 go. And he's dead. <laughs> Bone's best build, I'm telling you. Bones best build. If, if the boss came from above or below, we would have killed him even faster, but obviously we're unlucky. 27 on the bones. Let's go. What is this? I'm fighting I'm fighting with squares and... Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm fighting with squares and stuff. All the energy of the void, blah, blah, blah. Okay, please, please, please tell me I got enough of these. No! Okay, I'm gonna off-screen play this a bit to unlock this so that I can go more into the skill tree of the, of the arrow because I want to play an arrow build with this guy. Because this guy on the arrows has that they are bigger, so they're gonna be, like, huge. 
I want to I wanna test this with this guy. So, uh, yeah, give me a sec. I'm going to come back right up. So, and so that the cut is not weird, I'm going to pause the video here. And I'm back. So, uh, you won't believe this, but it's true. Uh, between the literally the previous run and this run, like I did one run to just to unlock this thing. I got the upgrades, by the way. Like I I, I unlocked this, and uh, I got critical on the arrow. I got uh, cooldown on the arrow. I got I got uh, the move faster. They knock opponents back more and stuff like that. The but but the most important part is that between those two runs, a patch dropped and they added this thing in the game. Level up banner choice. Upon leveling up, you will get one more choice, and they also added this thing. So start each battle with more gold. So now we can re-roll right away from turn one. Might as well start with even more gold, you know, just because. And um, yeah, I mean, let's let's actually go and do the run. Let's actually go and do the run. Uh, let's try desert hard mode. Uh, now, the patch had a couple of changes other than what they just showed you, the new nodes. They buffed. 405 weapons they buffed the arrows <laughs> unbelievable right they buffed the arrows made them have even less cooldown they buffed the flame make make it made it have a less uh, like spin around faster you know what? let's take the flame i guess um what else they they buffed the vines i don't remember what exactly they did with them they buffed the hex and they also bones let's go bones I prefer bones there and maybe a whip i can get like a whip as my last weapon would be nice uh let's go flame speed why not did you saw if you see already the, the flame already has more speed. Let's go bone damage. I want to have my secondary weapon be bones. Like, in this stage, there are, like, some mosquitoes that come close to you. By the way, I want, first and foremost, get the arrow run going. <laughs> so, please, game, forget that I said that I want the bones. And please start, you know, <laughs> please start giving me upgrades for the arrows, please. <laughs> Please give me attack speed on the arrows. I want the new and improved insane arrows with its new and improved insane attack speed. I don't want to do the same run again and again. Come on. Whoop. Whoop, whoop, avoid. Uh, come on. <laughs> Look what's happening. Look what's happening. Madness is happening. Wait, do I have some kind of reflect? Why why do people get pushed back? Let's go with the uh, cleaver. Yeah, I know. By picking up items, I reduce the chance of getting whatever I want. But Oh, by the way, the crit damage seems to be times three. Okay, cooldown on the arrow. Nice. 125. If I get three more cooldowns on the arrow, I don't need a million. I just need three more. Like, if I get three more cooldowns on the arrow, the difference is going to be huge. Because right now it's 1.20 something. Uh, 1.2 actually. Come on, plus two damage on the arrow, that's good. Cleave cooldown now. Let's go cooldown damage on the arrow. These are the wasps I was talking about. When I said that there are some wasps on the stage that um, attack you very often. Yeah, these are the ones. Avoid. Good thing I have the bone though. Because now I'm just running downwards. And the bone is doing its job. Yeah, the, these, these things will take a lot of life away from us. Uh, I will continue with damage on the arrow. This is an arrow build, first and foremost. First and foremost, arrow build. And after that, anything else. Also pick up the second gold soul if we're gonna die. Might as well try to run away from everything. Size of the arrows. Mm, I mean, yeah, obviously. I want to have huge arrows if I can. I was thinking about the cooldown on the whip. That's what I was thinking about. Because these things, these... Uh, okay, they stop. Thank you. Like, they are doing so much damage to us. Like, so much damage. It's too much. Too much. Maybe it's the character, right? It's obviously the character. He he is slow anyway. We got Reaper range and... Oh, we're gonna go with Bones. I think Bones is better than Reaper. In this specific stage... In this specific stage, I think Bones is better than the Reaper. Yeah, I'm about to get hit there for no reason. Increase damage. No, we're gonna go increase plus the damage on the arrows. Let's try to zigzag him away. Okay, these are different opponents. Like, these infinite bees that are chasing us down are from these guys. Which is a completely different thing than what I was previously fighting. Uh, I cleave cooldown, I guess. Cleave cooldown, I guess. It's not that it's a bad choice. This elite here is a problem right now. He is getting hit by the whip from behind. Hey, did he get stuck or what happened? Avoid, avoid. I'm trying to pick up maybe gold. Let's see what we get. Cooldown, 1.1. Okay, if I get two more levels up on the arrow, two more cooldown level up, and then then the run is ready. Like, I, it's going to be a god run. Ooh, only flame traces. Uh, let's go with speed. I think speed is the most useful aspect of the flame. If it goes around us very quickly, we can at least one-shot everything that is one-shot double. Let's go with more size. Cooldown on the whip is also good, but no, I want to do an arrow build first and foremost, as I said. I'm going to die. We need to sidestep all these machine guns. And here is a shop. Not sure if I need the shop. By the way, if I had... Yes, yeah, 0.95, let's go. 
That's what I was about to say, literally. Like, if I had enough of them. 0.8, let's go. Let's go. I got my levels. Let's go. Uh, even more speed. Imagine if I lose now. <laughs> but Sift, you said I trust. But Sift, but Sift, you said that you just need two or three more levels on the arrow. And now you lose. <laughs> Uh, cool down on the whip, cool down on the bones, range on the flame. You know, let's go cool, cool down on the bones. If I get the bones down to 0 0.1, it's also going to be insane, obviously. Ooh, 0 0.65. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And I see healing. The moment I see healing, I'm a heavy camper. 0 0.8 on this. 0 0.8 on that. Please stop pushing me. I'm in a bit of a danger zone right now. Let's go with more size. Let's stop pushing me. Let's shoot left and right. I think we're good, uh, well covered in here. 0.6. Stop. Man, do you see how many things are attacking us at the same time? What is this? More speed? Yeah, we're gonna go with more speed on this. Where's the shop, by the way? I missed the shop. Look what's happening. Let's all look how many things are attacking us. 0.5. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Our size. Our size is important. Faster I shoot, I need to uh, have bigger size so nothing can actually touch us. Nothing should be able to touch us. What are these bees even going for? What are they bees even going for? 0 0.7. Oh, we're dying. Oh, we're dying. 0 0.35. Let's get rid of the elite. Da -da 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 wada wada. Well, this is not fast enough. There is obviously another upgrade. Or a couple of other upgrades, actually. Not only one. I have gotten more attack speed than what I currently have. Healing. I see the healing. Uh, let's go here. Please don't disappear on me. Thank you. I also need the money, obviously. Because the more money I have, the more chances I can heal in the shop. Like, if I get a good heal in, I'm gonna be really good. Yeah, see? I'm super surrounded here. Please stay away from me, everybody. Stop attacking me from both sides. What is even happening? Shop time. Shop time. 0 0.2. Let's go. And that just dropped the heal. A couple of heals, actually. A couple of heals, actually. Look at this. And another elite is behind me. What do you guys... And another elite is over here. All of these are going to heal us. All of these. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? 0 0.5? 0 0.05? Wow. Just wow. Okay, this is over. This is unlosable at this point. <laughs> Let's also get the bones down to 0 0.01. I mean, look at this. And this area gives you more XP than you normally gain. Oh, look, a new elite. Come come over here again and see how this is going to go. Zero, negative 0 0.1? What does that even mean? I mean, I don't know what it means, but <laughs> it is what it is. I attack faster than the speed itself. I attack faster than... <laughs> Oh, this is crazy. I got the 10 cooldown. Okay, there are 10 levels on every upgrade, so I got the 10 cooldown on these. Let's start getting the whip also to do its thing. Although <laughs> it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. What is this even? What is this? <laughs> I like how I yesterday they did like an hour run of speed. And now we get this. <laughs> we increase the damage just to clear everything out even faster. Nothing matters anymore. Nothing matters. Wherever I move, everything dies. More size on the arrows. Wow. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. <laughs> can I shoot wherever I want if I play with... Oh, I can shoot wherever I want if I play with the mouse. No, I cannot. It. I can't shoot wherever I want as long as it is in this area. Like, over in this area, I can shoot wherever I want. But over at the, at the corners, it's it's fixed. Oh, I can do... I can, I can wiggle room. Uh, there is a small wiggle room, I guess. There is a small wiggle room, but you see that there is a dead zone, right? Uh, let's go with more speed on the flame. You see here there is a dead zone where the mouse is right now, where it does not shoot there. Oh, the bees. Oh no, what are we gonna do now? <laughs> Look at this. This is completely busted. Love it, love it. I found my love for the game, man. I found the love for the game. It just needed, I just needed to get more. Oh, let's go with cooldown on the bones. Let's go with cooldown on the bones, although I could obviously go for more arrows. But uh, I, I enjoy this as an idea. <laughs> Let's have a hundred percent coverage on everything. Let's uh, make it so that nothing is able to attack us from any corner whatsoever. Let's become busted incarnate. Busted incarnate. Let's go. Love it. Love it. I love it that. Well, th that's obviously the fact that I got meta progressions. I didn't know previously. Let's go with crit chance. Does it even matter? Does it even matter? 
for the fibers, man. For the fibers. Where are the elites? This is an obvious win, right? This is an obvious win. I cannot see how we can possibly not win this. You know what? Let's just go to the shop. Go to the shop, pick up whatever, and then off we go to exploring. Okay, the shop is selling a couple of things that I obviously want, but uh, yeah, I went in too fast. So let's go. That was an expensive shop. I never had that an expensive, sh that much of an expensive shop. Moving downwards. Oh, look, the opponents are dangerous. And we got our first pet. Yeah, I should have come here before I got went to the shop. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> look at this madness. I'm gonna get the pet in a moment. Let's go pick up the money first. Before it disappears. Okay, here we go. Bone cooldown, bone cooldown. Uh, by the way, just because I got because I got the arrow cooldown thing maxed out, now I obviously uh, find more upgrades. You know, I find one more upgrade. I, I remove one upgrade from the choice pool, right? I remove the cooldown on the arrow from the choice pool. That means higher chances to pick up other things that I want. Also higher chances to pick up in general things. They're going to be useful. Uh, let's go size on the arrow. Wait, was there a cooldown on the... I think there were cooldown on the bones and I missed it. I think I made a mistake, but it's okay. It's okay. At the end of the day, as long as it's an arrow upgrade, it's a good upgrade. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. And we're, we're, we're still... We're not even at the middle. Let's go cooldown on the bones. We're not even at, in the middle, man. We're not even in the middle. You can just click. Hey, the bee guys. Yeah, I, I don't want to defeat these guys. I want to just farm the bees they're sending to us. Wait, if I shoot towards the right, can anything hit me? Yeah, things can hit me, it seems. What is this? <laughs> this is, seems spaced out. Uh, let's go with... Let's go with coins. Let's go with coins. Not that it actually matters. Let's go with uh, cooldown on the bones. So, look how much XP we gain. This is insane. Oh, this is insane! This is insane! How much do I have on all of these? This is completely insane. We're gonna get so many levels. We're gonna get busted completely here. Like, look what's even happening here. Even more size. We want to make these huge. I want to be unable to get hit by anything. I want to make it so that if something touches us, just because the arrows are too big, they just instantly die. Let's go cool down on the whip. Let's go cool down on the whip. <laughs> now we're supposed to fight like five or six elites back to back. These things are still spawning. Or these things, not only are they still spawning, they also spawn bees. Which is really good for us, because bees is XP! Bees is XP, look at this! Oh look, two elites! I wanna see how fast they die. Let's go cool on the bones. Oh, they're still alive, you know what, let's go to the left. And now we go to the left. Instant death! I just needed to set it up better. Bye bye everybody. Let's pick up the- oh, another elite. Eh, instead. <laughs> whoop, eh, whoop. Whoa! -oh. Oh, oh, everything instantly dies, man. This is insane. This is insane. I can do better with WSD than what I can do with the mouse. I mean, I can do this with the mouse, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, with the WSD, it's a bit better. With the mouse, it's dizzy inducing. Like, with this, it's just a movement. Where are we gonna go with this? Size? Size. Size. They're gonna become huge. They're gonna be the biggest arrow around town. Look at this, man. Look at this. Size is 10. Yeah, size is 10. Cooldown is 10. Now we go for the damage. <laughs> now we go for plus 10 damage. <laughs> Just gonna be like 20 damage and the crits are gonna be 60s. Uh, I'm just staying here to gather up XP. I think we can continue and go on. Uh, what we the thing? <laughs> Cooldown on the whip. Just because. Oh man, okay, now 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 I can see the future of this game. Okay, now now that I have actually achieved a good run, now I can see how busted you can become. Now now I am convinced. Now I'm convinced the game is good. <laughs> now that I see you just have to be a bit lucky with RNG, man. You just have to be a bit lucky with RNG. And I mean, yeah, right now Aru seems to be the most broken build in the game because nothing seems to be even remotely close to be able to come close to us. But um, you know. Maybe that's true with other builds too. Let's go with the flame. I want to get speed 10 on the flame if I can. To see how fast it goes around. When, when I say see, I don't actually mean see. Because we're unable to see anything. Close to our character. <laughs> what is even happening, man? Oh no, typhoons. Ooh, no. Give me more opponents, please. I want more opponents. I want to gather up XP faster. These are too, too few. Too few for me. Too few for me. I need more. I want like 50 more opponents per second. 
100 more points per second. Look at this. And we gathered even so much golden resources. The moment I get anything unlocked that needs golden resources to get... Uh, you know, the moment I get access to upgrades that need golden resources. Because right now I can only see them. But as far as I know, I have not done any of the things that they need. What does it even matter? <laughs> Why does it even matter, man? It doesn't even matter what I go with. Is this an elite? I heard an elite, but where is the... Oh, we're losing life. What's hitting us? I guess it was the elite. Something hit us. Doesn't matter. It really doesn't. At the end of the day, we're definitely winning. And the opponent scaling 10% life per second uh, per minute does not seem to affect anything. <laughs> Opponents supposedly have 250% more life than what they should. Yeah, we're gonna go with this. Let's continue with the arrow being busted. 40 levels on the arrow. Oh man. Like, imagine this thing in a stage where there is, where there is a bigger, more spawn. More enemy spawn. Why am I between those? Ah, here we go. Meta progression currency. And whatever this thing. First of all, this is gonna drop more than normally. Normally, these drop five or four or five, somewhere around there. Uh, let's go with the flame being very fast. Just because. Now it's gonna drop like six or seven, most likely. We're at 40. Let's see how down it's gonna go. From 40, we go up to 44. Okay, it dropped four. So that, that part is actually how it is in all, all, all the stages. But at the very end, it multiplies all your drops by, you know, the multiplier of the stage. Let's continue with the speed on this. I want to make it very fast. I want to make it the fastest thing around. And we got another thing. Okay, here we go. How many times have I got speed? Eight. Let's continue. Until it goes up to 10. And then after it goes up to 10, we will start increasing its size. Here we go. 10. Let's go 528 speed. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nothing matters, by the way. I'm just picking whatever I want to. Just because. Let's go around, pick up the meta progression currency. Let's maybe pick up that XP, although I don't see it happening. There is more XP over there. Uh, damage against... Uh, let's go damage, obviously. 21 now. Oh, enemies are behind me. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh, I see a chest down there in the corner. Whoa! <laughs> the op thing is definitely a Greek thing, right? Pretty sure the op thing is a Greek thing. Whoop! Whoop! Whoop, what's that? Whoop, you know that thing. Do people say that in your country? Whatever your country is? Like, yeah, I am from Germany. And we do say, whoop, what's this does? I don't think Germans say, whoop. I think they say, I don't know what they say. <laughs> I mean, I'm thinking about the German I know, and what would I say if... Whoa, what's this? I don't know, I don't know, I really don't. Uh, let's go with cooldown on the whip. Let's make everything be attack speed crazy. Everything be attack speed crazy. The only thing I want to find is flame size. And anything arrow related, obviously. By the way, opponents do survive the hits. Especially these slimy dudes. Yeah, even though I attack him like five times per second. When I say five times per second, I mean more than five times per second. <laughs> A lot more. Crits are 65, 63... Yeah, I can, the only thing I can imagine not, uh, like, surviving this bustiness is the opponents also having life that is comparable, right? Like, if the opponents had, for example, 500 life, yes, I do extremely many attacks, but they would survive at least a bit. Uh, okay, let's go with size, so that we see the flame go around in a moment. <laughs> because right now we're not seeing anything. I mean, if I only attack to the right, you can see the flame. Okay, now, for example, the opponents have gotten to a point where they are actually very durable. Let's continue with the damage. Arrow damage is the most important aspect right now. Maybe arrow crits is more. Actually, arrow crits is like 5% or something. So, that's 10% damage boost. Is plus 2 damage more or 10% damage more? Uh, I mean, from 23 to 25, and it's also multiplies the... Yeah, this is better. The reason it's better is because not only does it give you about the same boost, like it gives you about 10%, but it only multiply, like increases the damage that the already crit chance that I have gives. So it has two bonuses instead of only one built in. Because the crit is the crit dam when you do crits, it's uh, it's multiplied through your base damage, right? But if you increase your base damage, then it also multiply it, it increases your normal damage and it also increases the crit damage. So it's two in one. Okay, let's hope we don't find the elite right now. By the way, these things are actually really durable. Uh, let's continue with crits on the arrows. Now we have a higher chance of rolling that 75er. Ooh, there is a meta regression currency there. Wait a minute. Let's increase the magnet, I would say. 
And now we're about to fight the boss. Because as you see, every opponent has stopped spawning. And now we fight the boss. And we are within an arena, within an arena. Okay, let's see how fast the boss dies. Okay, the boss will not die that fast. It is pushing. No, 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 no. No, run away. Oh, man, we almost died. If you pushed us into the spikes, we would have died. The spikes are in one shot. Oh, 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 we got like 45 goals. 47 golden souls. Wow. Just wow. Now it's going to amass what I have gathered. And then it's going to multiply it by 2.5. Yeah, I mean, I, I I didn't wait, but as you see, this this increased. Uh, and I also get a bonus on top of that, and then it also multiplies at the very end. So we got a lot of things. Man, that was a very good farm. Hunter, Hunter I'm impressed, and the Divinity Web sinks. Okay, whatever, man. Uh, the most important part for me, first of all, this thing is still not unlocked, because I have not found the Banshees. But do you know what I have unlocked? This thing. Nope, I do not have that unlocked. Uh, this thing. I do not have that unlocked either. This thing. Yeah, this thing actually, yes. <laughs> like, I get even better bone shots. So that would be the third bone shot upgrade. Yeah, I have this one. Or, or is it just the first? I guess it's just the second. You know what else though is? This thing. No, I don't have that either. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. Well, I can have... <laughs> Unbelievable. I guess only the bone shot upgrade. Yeah, I guess only the bone shot the second. Bone shot the second. Or shuriken. Oh, or the shuriken. Or just the shuriken. The shuriken. The shuriken. 69. Nice, by the way. But I think I can have both, right? 3d6 plus 42 is 70 something, so I cannot have both. I guess I want to go with the shuriken. But the thing is that there is a shuriken down here, too. Uh, the main thing is that, do I actually go for the shuriken and last and add, like, you know what I actually want to go with? I actually want to go with flames. I actually want to go with flames. Or, or just go here, drops last longer and see what these two give us. Now let's do that. What is this? Typhoon, I hate typhoon. Magnetism. Well, magnetism is insane, obviously. And I love it, but, uh, well, I have access to more typhoons. You know what? Let's get the shuriken. Let's get the shuriken. Although I'm going to add one more bad thing to the, to the draw pile. It is what it is. What is this? Increase all your damage for 100%. Nice. Chance of critical strike with Shadow Shuriken. Well, the problem is that Shadow Shuriken do one more damage. Yes. I will throw... What is the Swarm? Swarm 0 out of 10,000. You'll throw plus 1 Shadow Shuriken. Ooh, it makes it so that you throw 2 at the same time. Chance of crit 5%. Speed. What? You know what? I'm going to stop upgrading the Shuriken completely. Because at the end of the day, I don't have the base upgrades. Th these here are most likely going to be cooldown, cooldown, damage, damage, cooldown, something like that. Like, the important upgrades are here for sure. What is this? Hero crit chance 2%. Uh, what is this? Collectibles last a smidge longer, a smidge longer, and another smidge longer. You know what? That's, uh, let's pick them up. Let's, let's pick these things. 10. Oh, I, I send off. I send off a couple, a bit too much. Yeah, like, I'm not gonna send off golden upgrades for these. Forget it. Forget it. Just, just forget it. Uh, the wines. Wine cooldown reduced. It would be nice if I could kill this Hecate. And yeah, yeah, anyway, let's see what the show recans look like. Each Shuriken has a 50% chance of a crit. So he gains crits on them. Shuriken has high crit hit chance. Disappointment that it's literally the same, but... Kills with a Shuriken have a chance to drop souls. And every Shuriken throw has a 5% chance to heal 1 HP. Okay, now the question is... How fast do these things go by default? I'm not gonna do run. I just wanna see how, how fast these things attack on their own. Wow, that's... Oh. Oh, I get it, I get it. So it shoots like a couple of them, and then it stops. And that's gonna start shooting again. And is it fixed downwards? Yeah, it is fixed downwards. Okay, so this is the shuriken. I hope you guys, um, you know, are excited about it when I'm gonna do a run with it. It's not gonna happen now. I unlocked it a bit early, but we're not gonna do a real run. Wait, did I, by mistake, enter hard mode? I want to see at least one level. I want to see, come on. Give me one level, one level. Okay, let's reroll in case we get shurikens, because that was the plan. Okay, forget it. Forget it. I, I cannot see the levels of the shurikens right now. So, uh, I'm not gonna do another run. Let's just end the video here. Uh, the shurikens seem to shoot like five or six shurikens, and then they wait, and then they shoot five or six again, and then they wait. Something like that seems to be what they do. Uh, but we're gonna learn after we level it up more. You know what? I should have gone with these upgrades, starting with more gold. More magnetism. 20% magnetism. Yeah, maybe I should go on like this path. I don't know. I have no idea. More chests. What is this? Chests will open one second faster. Oh, that's just faster chests. And this is crit. Yeah, anyway, uh, that's going to be it. Maybe next time you join, I will have leveled up this hex, leveled up this hex, leveled up that hex. Maybe we're going to do like a triple hex run or something. Anyway, we're going to see. We're going to see. For now, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. I definitely like my runs. I hope you did too. 
Uh, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and thanks for all the Patreon membership supporters as always. Anyway, that is going to be today. So once again, thanks for watching, and see you guys around.